again, something I love about your work is the the synthesis between Western science and the Eastern wisdom traditions. And I'm interested in the energy centers, and I'd like to to hear your thoughts on this. So the Dantian, as people may know, and you've already talked about, is the elixir field where one of yeah, the core energy centers for the Chinese arts, the low Dantian, but there's three. And I was wondering, yeah, what, what, what do the energy centers mean for you and what are the differences between the, th- the three and the Chinese arts? So every part of the body has a capacity to store energy and to move or release energy. I mean, if you look at a dead cell in a micro- with a microscope compared to a living cell, the main difference is that the living cell has a bioelectric charge and thus has the capacity for movement. Now, certain places in the body have a greater or lesser capacity to store energy. I have a theory that, uh, and this is not from the Chinese literature, it's from my own idea, that at the level of the cell, the dantian is the mitochondria. That's the energy factory of the cell. So we have dantians, even at a cellular level. But the major dantians, the major fields of the elixir, dan is elixir, tian is a farmer's field. It's the field where we plant the elixir of longevity and wisdom. The major dantians are usually divided into three. However, according to the system of qigong or Taoism that you're practicing, the location of the dantians may differ. It is not a, some religious dogma where if one teacher tells you the middle dantian is the heart, well, that's the correct location. No, because there are dantians throughout the body. Classically, the major three dantians, by classically, I mean in the, probably the majority of literature and among the majority of practitioners, the upper dantian is the third eye. We call that the shang dantian, upper dantian. It stores shen or spirit accounts for our intuition, our connection with spirit. It is easily lost if we're too involved with the outside world and forget the interior world. So sometimes we close our eyes to conserve shed. So the light of the eyes does not go out. It illuminates the microcosm. So upper dantian between the eyebrows. Middle dantian related not to shen, but to qi, the life force connected geographically in the body with the diaphragm is at the heart. We conserve qi through not wasting our energy, through periods of quiet, especially quiet breathing, through not talking too much. Talking too much also wastes qi. And then the lower dantian, about three inches below the navel, is, in for most teachers, connected with jing, J-I-N-G, which literally means life essence. It's actually a picture of wheat germ, if you look at the old character. So it's the germ or essence of life. It's related to reproductive force. You could say that the upper dantian is the nervous system, middle dantian respiratory system, lower dantian endocrine system. And we conserve the jing through reproductive health, through balanced sexual relations. So... We might also think of the three dantians as three pillars of Taoist healing practices, meditation, qigong, and balanced relationships. But there are other styles of qigong where the upper dantian remains at the third eye, but the middle dantian is the navel, and the lower dantian is the perineum. And there's still another system, very popular in China, where the teachers say, oh, oh no, the three dantians are not vertical, they're horizontal. There's the rear dantian, which is the mingmen or gate of life, the area of the lower back opposite the navel. There's the navel, which is the front dantian. And then there's the middle dantian, the place of emptiness, where it's easier, easier to realize emptiness by focusing on the region between the navel and the lower back. So there you have three dantians in a horizontal alignment. So again, dantian is just an area that has a greater capacity to store energy. And if you were to ask me, well, which of those different models of the body 
are right. I'd say all of them. They're just ways of explaining or visualizing energy storage and flow that is consistent with a particular school of Qigong or Taoism. Mm, powerful answer. And thank you for that. And yeah, I invite the listeners to listen back to that because there's a lot of depth in it. And for me, yeah, I think I haven't had too much Dantian training and kind of a traditional Chinese medicine, but my kind of in intuitive understanding is that exactly as you're saying, like we, we have energy centers throughout the body and there's particular emotions or energies that get stored in different parts of our body. So, you know, tension in the foreheads where, you know, the third eye is this often where we hold a lot of our, our life tension is in that, in the forehead and the eyes and we can soften the heart obviously is very responsive to our emotions and the belly, just as we've talked about today is we can tense up and brace ourselves or we can invite that relaxation and, and sending our yi, our intention down to the lower dantian actually rebalances us. It's our physical center, it's the center of our gravity. And so if, if we send our intention down, then yeah, we can rebalance and, and to act from our center. 